So I've decided to do a little bit of work on my uh, ADSB capture setup. I had a RTL SDR and it's been outside forever and it's uh, kind of seen some weather and it's rusted a little bit and it's just not really reliable anymore. It's almost unreliable to the point that I leave it out there for about a day and then it dies. So. This is, I, I've actually already done the project. I'm, I'm filming this part of this video after I've said and done everything, and I'll uh, edit in the other clips here in just a moment. But basically, my setup is as follows. I run this one receiver down here on the bottom, the one that's highlighted, and uh, you'll notice that it has the least amount of <laughs> frames that it's actually capturing. These other ones I have found on the internet, uh, just through like Shodan, Shodan HQ. I did a search for dump 1090 and then I used nmap to scan all those IP addresses and see which IP addresses have port like 30,001, 30,002, 30,003 open. And if it does have one open, then I usually put that IP address in here, so I'm kind of borrowing that. I'm also uh, getting some uh, information from ADSB Hub and I don't know why it's disconnected at the moment, but I just found that the other day, and that's actually a uh, pretty good website in my terms for uh, getting data from. They allow you, if you submit data, then they allow you to get data back. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and roll in the footage of what I've been doing to upgrade my AD ADSB setup. Okay, so I'm in the middle of my build here. Um, the idea is I'm going to put this SDR and this antenna tuned for 1090 megahertz into this enclosure. I've got a USB extension cable here, and I just finished using some JB Weld to. Uh, I've got my antenna mount here, and I've got the cable running inside. So I uh, cleared up that hole. Now if you open it up, it's still a little bit wet. It's been about five minutes since I put this up. It's supposed to set up in six, I believe. So I've got the antenna in there pretty secure. And it loops right around, or the USB cable in there pretty secure. And the antenna comes here. So the idea is this. Plug into the antenna. And it'll go around right into there. Then this. When it's not in use, it can be stored in here. When it is in use, I'm going to plop it right on top of that. And then I'm probably just going to kind of throw this up on top of my roof and then plug it into a uh, computer that I have inside my garage. So that's the build right now. It's a little bit of an improvement on my other build. Hopefully it's a little bit more waterproof and the SDR will lasts a little bit longer, but if it does die, then hopefully all my antennas and wires and everything will be fine and I can just uh, open this up and pop a new one in. So this is my old setup. I've got this, this, this stock antenna that comes with the SDR and I actually clipped it. I looked up what length the 1090 megahertz antenna should be and I clipped it on the top. I wouldn't recommend that. I actually think it was better uh, before I clipped it. But anyway, I have it just on this bamboo pole that I found whenever I moved into this house. And it's not, it's it's not really secure. It's just really just hanging onto this gutter pipe. So the antenna comes down into this SDR and you, you know, it's January. You can imagine that thing is dead. Pretty sure it's dead. We'll take this tape off and make sure. And then I've got that. Come up and over. This is just another USB extension cord and into my garage. And then this is the host. This is a uh, just a little Dell server that's running ESXi, I think 5.5 or something like that. And it just stays out here. Uh, pretty much dump 1090 is the only thing it runs. So I've got that going here and I've got an absolute mess of power and everything so I mean it's not stable at all you know I don't have a battery backup I really have don't have very good power in this garage but 
that's what I'm using right now. In the future, I might stick a Raspberry Pi inside of this enclosure. You know, I mean, I think that there's plenty of room, plenty of room to get a Raspberry Pi in there, you know, mounted to the bottom or even a Pi Zero or something. Then I could just do wireless and really all I'd have to do is just supply power over this instead of data as well. So I'm going to go hang this. I think I am going to hang it on that mast. I'm going to try to use these little loops on the side of the case to actually zip tie it to that mast and that'll keep it off of the roof in case it snows or something. I mean it is January. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I've got the container attached to the pole. Uh, I wrapped the antenna angle with some black tape just because where it folds there was a little bit in there little area where it looked like water might be able to collect so hopefully this will keep some of that out it'll probably actually end up hurting me also capped the end of this bamboo tube because uh, it does go about this far and then there's a knot so there is a uh, little area right in there where water can collect so I've got it running down in here and actually I thought why not try to get it up a little bit higher so I found this looking piece of wood up in my rafters and I'm gonna see if I can maybe mount it to that so we'll see so I have got it mounted it's up there I didn't really realize that there was a tree branch above it so that branch is gonna come down this spring um, head through a little bit of tape around this connector so honestly this is really only about two USB extension cords what do you think that is about 10 feet from there to there probably another 10 feet to inside that garage I know that there's a maximum for USB cable lens but hey hey we're about to go see if it works if it works then I'm happy with it I'm sure that my neighbors are just gonna love this I'm sure they will they won't mind Oh my, I mean, if they don't care about this fence, then I shouldn't care about that. So future projects, I'm going to put it up there with my 2 meter antenna maybe. Yeah, that thing's not attached to the roof at all. It's just kind of sitting up there. I got some 4x4s just to give it a little bit of weight. The thicker pipe is actually just a piece of pipe. And then my 96 inch 2 meter antenna on top of that. Love that antenna. Goodbye. Anyway, I'm going to go inside and see if our little ADSB antenna works. All right, it is several hours later. Going up some stakes. Uh-huh. Anyway, figured out the problem with my antenna. Um, the uh, two lengths of the USB cable that I had in the middle, it was causing it to go to USB 1.0 speeds. So what I've done is uh, I've got this powered USB hub in here now and actually you get the power from right there. That's probably just like a little one amp iPhone charger or something. And then it goes into that wrapped up which goes back into the uh, ESXi host so yeah I'm going to that that's that I'm gonna finish grilling my steaks in the middle of January and uh, we'll go inside and look at it here in half hour or so all right so we are back inside now and uh, looking at the virtual radar screen got RTL 1090 pulled up. I just started it and it looks like we are getting some data now since uh, we eliminated or since we put a little bit of power in between those two USB extension cables. So really just kind of waiting for them to pop up on the screen. And there's one. Is this guy going from Japan to Atlanta to Nashville? Huh. That's a weird route. So yeah, there's that. Um, I was expecting that there would be more, and uh, perhaps just the all the frames 
have not come in over ADSB capture yet. Maybe it just needs to run for a little while and see what happens. But just for fun, let's go to somewhere and just see what's out there. What is it? Flight radar, flight radar 24. Flight radar 24. I'm sure it's going to have like way better coverage than I do. My house is not exactly in the uh, best place for radio reception. Okay, so I'm right here, and yeah, it looks like there's tons of stuff around. Where are you? Just south of Charleston. on this antenna, uh, there's there's more mountains and more trees and stuff over on the southwest side than there is on the northeast side, so that's kind of interesting that I'm not picking up, well, there's nothing really right there now. It's interesting I'm not picking up the one directly above me. Let's see what this is. At any rate, um, I'm going to take this data and I'm going to share it and rebroadcast it over to uh, ADSB Hub. So there's that. Awesome. Mission accomplished. I guess uh, I might I might move my antenna higher up, like I was saying earlier, and we'll see what happens with that.